Hi, everyone. We're coming to you live on 2K Sports, bringing you the NBA. In this game, we'll see the Phoenix Suns against the Indiana Pacers. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello with David Aldridge joining us on the sideline. With these two great rebounding teams set to go at it, Mike, how do you think the battle of the boards will shape up in this one? In any matchup, rebounding is one of the most important elements to winning. Offensively, it leads to extra possessions, and defensively, it limits the number of possessions your opponent has. Little basketball 101 for you folks out there. Here's McLeod. Barkley over to help. Cloud passes to Thompson, and that one drops for him. Well, that's an easy, effortless make right at the rim. Yeah, you know this. You, you, you usually get only looks like this in the layup line. The defense has to make it harder on him right there. Now here's Johnson. He really had an off game against the Trailblazers. He, he really never found his rhythm, and he gets the bucket. Watch out now. When this guy gets into a rhythm, it is something to behold. Williams looking around. Thompson sets the pick for Williams. Second shot opportunity, and it's laid up and in by Thompson. You've got to be aware of him at all times. He's a bully on the backboard. Barkley with a screen on Williams. Johnson, the pass to Barkley. Johnson against Williams. Here's Ainge. That's good, and Johnson with the assist. Yeah, watching Johnson focus in on his teammates, he does a really nice job, I think, of sensing and feeling when his guy is open. Now here's Williams coming off a stellar performance against Utah. Here's Smith, defended by West. Feed that big man. Let Smith eat. Suns have gone two or three here to start off the game. Johnson kicks to Ainge. The first quarter of action, two minutes in. Barkley trying to break loose. And good, and it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. With him, the scouting report says you've got to go over the screen. Absolutely. He'll hurt you from deep. So you have to fight through those picks. There's the pass to McClough. Left the line by Indiana. Puts up a three. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Passes it to Ainge. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Marley no good. Tell you what, the defense was lucky there. I mean, leave him that open from range, he'll typically knock it down. Pass to Williams. To the left wing. Shoots. At the line. Over to the left wing. Person, the pass to Smith. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start. Two for two. I mean, good luck. He's seven foot four. I'd foul him, too. It's your only chance. Johnson outside. Here's Barkley. That's in there. Johnson with the assist. Barkley's got his second bucket tonight. Tell you what, he looks laser focused out of the gate. Scary thought for the defense when he's locked in like that. And you worry about just how quickly he's working himself into a rhythm. Not what the D wants. Timeout called the Pacers.
both teams deciding to change it up. Just over three and a half minutes into the first quarter. Green finds Williams. Back to Green. Indiana moving it around. Williams passes to Dryland. Good on the shot. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. There's a minute left to play in the first quarter. Pass to Green. Here's Chambers. Shrimp cover. A floater. No good. And it's the Pacers taking it the other way. They put up a nice win against Utah last time out. They were on fire. They could have knocked down threes blindfolded. Everything was going. Great selfless basketball creating the open looks. Very little resistance right there. Yeah, you see why they're down, huh? Wow. Has to be better on the defensive end. Can't allow dunks. Chambers can't make the basket. Pacers leading by six. Clark, what a performance offensively. They're really rolling at that end of the floor. Excellent game plan and execution. Williams, that's good. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Shrimp against Chambers. There's a screen. Launches it. Sinks the triple. The evolution of the big man three-pointer has been fun to watch. And they're scoring pretty well as we conclude the first quarter. Indiana out in front, up by five. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. For those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Pacers? They've been resolute. I mean, attacking the paint early, very forceful. Haven't been shy absorbing contact and throwing their weight around inside. And the last few years, two exhibition games played in Toronto, and Commissioner Stern, Mike, called it a safe step to expand them. When does it happen? The wheels are in motion. Great attendance at both of those exhibition games. A tremendous appetite for NBA basketball in the Great North. Now here's Williams. It's rebounded by West. Johnson surveying the floor. The feed to Martin. Over McLeod. Count it, and the Pacer lead has been cut down to three on the bucket from Barkley. So slick with the ball. Rush hour handles KJ. Kevin Johnson knows how to get it done out there. The pass to Smith. Here's Person. Reverses. Passes it to McLeod. The kick out to Williams. To the middle. Shrev passes to McLeod. Just three to shoot. The rebound by Marley. He'd like that one back. That's normally a shot he makes. A shot by Ames. No good. Indiana leading by three. Here's McLeod. Back to Williams. Puts up a three. And once again off the mark by Indiana. And it's Phoenix's ball. They haven't allowed any points in the second quarter. This game against Indiana, the first time they've met this year. And last year's games were interesting to watch considering that each team came out with a win. And of course, they split their two meetings last season, so both sides are coming into this with a little extra something to prove. It's simple. you got to get a body into your man. Box out if you want to rebound the ball. Defensive rebounding is about effort, trying, being willing to put a body on someone. Smith's good. Williams. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. On the wing, Johnson. He's guarded by Williams. 
Johnson dishes the mark. That's good, and it's Johnson with the assist. Johnson's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. So the Pacers call timeout. They're first of the game. So for the Suns, Rambis comes in for Barkley, and it's Dumas in for Marley. And Indiana with a change here, too. Thompson's checked in. The Pacers have gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. Cloud passes to Smith. Over West. Misses off the left eye. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Phoenix Suns. Only given up two points this quarter. Ainge against Shrimp. From 15 feet away, the shot's good from Ainge. Ainge has got the lead up to one now for the Suns. For the Phoenix Suns, they come into this one following a loss to the Trailblazers. Cloud passes to Person. Here's Smith. No problem on the jumper in close. Smith has got four points this quarter. And this game has been a teeter-totter. Both teams trading the lead back and forth we go. It's been an evenly matched game so far. Might come down to a buzzer beater at this rate. Now, here's Johnson. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Here's West. Lays it up and banks it in. And the Suns lead by one. And the chess match, Clark, continues. Seven exchanges of the lead. And we're still in the first half. Here's Smith's. Boy, that win against the Jazz, he's another guy who really showed up to play. And people will say he shouldn't take that mid-range look, but he had the space and is capable of making it. Now, here is Ainge. That's the screen on Shrimp. Here's Ainge, and it's Phoenix scoring again. The effort level you get from Ainge on offense is tremendous. He puts in the sweat to find his shots. Here's McLeod, covered by Johnson. Here's Smith. Score the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. Suns have gone six of eight from the field in the second quarter. Pass to Dumas. Back to Johnson. Pass to Ramos. It's up and it's off the mark. He's 0 for 1. For Indiana, they've gone three of eight from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. The pass to Smith. Shoots over Ainge. With the putback. And there's Thompson putting it right back in. Thompson's got six. It's been neck and neck, Mike, this entire first half. Yeah, eight lead changes so far. These clubs are looking evenly matched. Well, what a quick shot by Ains. Gets the ball and doesn't waste any time knocking it down. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. Suns lead by two. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. 
It's been a clinic from Danny Ainge. Defied expectations in that first half, taking shot after shot. When a guy ups his production, you gotta love it. I know his team is thrilled to see him dropping buckets like this. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Indiana trailing here. On the wing, Williams. He's guarded by Johnson. Thompson sets the pick for Williams. Off with the layup. When you bring it inside, you have to go up strong. Because more often than not, you'll face stiff defense. Johnson outside. Rest a screen on Williams. Shot clock at five. Tries again. West can't hit. The pace is shooting. Certainly a key for them in this one. 55% from the field. Maybe nerves got the better of them there, resulting in a miscommunication. That's not what coach wants to see in a close game. Phoenix has gone three of five from beyond the arc so far tonight. Out to the right wing. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. That's an excellent move inside, keeping pace here. Phoenix shooting their first free throw of the game right now. The Pacers making a switch here. At the line for your sons, Barkley. One shot. a minute played as the second half gets going. Passes to Dryler. Williams inside. He's guarded by Johnson. Williams passes to Dryler. Back to Williams. Shot clock at six. The screen from Thompson. Here's Person. Offline with his three. Stolen by Thompson. Outside Williams. Pass to Dryling. Back to Williams. Here's McLeod. Ainge covering. Suns leading by five. Can he keep it going? Up again. How about that? Some volleyball skills out there. Yeah, good word to use. Just tapping it up and tapping it again. That takes great coordination. Cloud passes to Dryland. They set the screen. Here's Williams. He dishes it to Thompson. Out to the right wing. Here's McLeod. Trying to get open is Thompson. A shot by McLeod. No good. Sons have gone two of five. Shooting here in the third quarter. Barkley kicks to Johnson. Pass to Mark. And here's Barkley. Another shot, and that's two points on the layup. Barkley's got the lead up to nine now for the Suns. Fighting to keep the play going, grabbing the board and sending it right back. So timeout called here, the first for Indiana.
Both teams changing it up here. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Knight against Williams. And there's the pass to Shrimp. And it's good assisting on the play was Williams. Shrimp's got his second bucket of the night. Such a different matchup. Shrimp is almost seven feet tall, but has a fantastic J. Chambers against Shrimp. Takes it off the glass. Chambers got five points so far. It's not easy to work the ball inside in this league, but they've done it all night. Night against Williams. Pass to Shrimp. Third quarter action in just under three and a half minutes have gone. Off the mark with the outside fadeaway. Pass to Chambers. Here's Sabalos. Six on the shot clock. Takes the three. And the Suns get it back. Pass tonight. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. Down low. The second chance effort. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. First Man, the athletic ability of Sabalos. Boy, I love that. He's got it all. Forward who can rise and fly. Also can score at a good clip. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Suns. And he knocks down the first one. So both teams making some changes here. So he picks up just one from the line that time. Here's Chambers. The shot, no good. Nice D from Shrimp. Outside, Green. Now the pass to Williams. Some solid defense from Knight. And he was able to get a pretty good look right at the rim. Just unable to convert that time. Chambers with a screen on Sanders. Here's Knight. Here's Chambers. It's rebounded by Indiana. That will be their second of this five-game road trip. Outside Williams from deep three point range, and that one released in time, but no good. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double digit ball game. Phoenix ahead, up 10. And time to step aside quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. three quarters behind us. Let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. I pose Johnson. He's against Williams. Passes it to Bart. West trying to free himself up. And Thompson sends it back. Williams against Johnson. Outside Williams. Here's Person. It's good. Great play by Williams to set it up. 
Williams has got his fifth assist in this one. I think he's got to show more fight than that. Can't give up on the play once you get screened. You got to continue to fight through. And coach is definitely going to be frustrated with that effort. Or lack of one, that is. Right on the bucket. Barkley's got the lead up to 10 now for the Suns. I like that they're putting in the work trying to build this lead out. Because in the NBA, no lead is safe. Let's it go with a three. Nailed from three-point land. Three. Persons got five points in the quarter. The rifleman Chuck Person shoots a consistent percentage from the three-point line. He's a sniper now. Green with a screen on Person. Aim. The putback. And Green is right there. And the Suns lead by nine. Way to work the glass. Buffet style. Second chance buffet. They can make a big difference. Outside Williams. Ainge against Person. At the top of the key, Thompson. Here's Smith. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And Smith's size is sometimes overwhelming for defenses, which is why they elect to foul. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. The seven foot four center from the Netherlands. Smith is a towering presence on both ends. Marley's checked in for Green. He's perfect from the line this time. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Phoenix. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. Pass to Marley. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Smiths has got his fifth rebound in this one. Now Williams to the wing right side. Cloud passes to Smith. That one drops for him. I like when Smith slams his foot on the gas pedal. Just going to work right now. Johnson outside. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Fades. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Thompson's got four rebounds now tonight. The offense has been on point. Great timing, great communication. Hard to get stops against them now. Here's McLeod. And too long on the shot. Now, here is Ainge. He's covered closely. On the wing, Johnson. He's guarded by Williams. Johnson dishes to Ainge. Barkley kicks to Johnson. Pocket six. Barkley with a screen on Williams. Here's Johnson. It's going to be out of bounds. The Suns will retain possession. One fifty-two left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Barkley. Over McClough. And Barkley throws it down. Hey, you better get a body on him and box him out. Yeah, he makes him pay. You're right. And unless you get a body on him, he's going to continue to do that. To the paint. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. Smith's recognizing that his team needs him to be aggressive. And there he showed you he was ready to attack. Barkley. And Barkley throws it down. He's ready, willing, and able to carry the load offensively. To the inside. That's in, and the Suns' lead is cut down to five on the bucket from Smiths. 
Stopping Smith's inside is no easy feat. At seven foot four, he can play over most defenders. Barkley, and Barkley throws it down hard. And, you know, we can't measure Hart. I mean, he's not as big as the other power forwards, but his jumping ability and mindset is incredible. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. They're trailing by seven. 109 left here in the fourth quarter. Now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Hi, Kevin. Well, the head coach of the Pacers talked to his team during the timeout. Yes, they're behind right now, but he's still upbeat. He said, guys, we can get back in this game. Stay together out there. All-out effort can win this game. Fellas. Thank you, David. One and nine left to play here in the fourth. Outside Williams and the pass to Smith. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Gritty play by Rick Smith. Gets hit with the foul, but still converts on the shot. Shooting for Indiana. Rick Smith. Seconds left in the fourth quarter. Barkley against Thompson. Nine feet out. And an intentional foul right there. Here's Barkley. Double team on Barkley. Passes it to Ainge. Feeds it to Marlon. Tries again. And right through it goes. And the Suns lead by six. Marley lives for these moments. How about Thunder Dan making it happen in the clutch? Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. They trail by six. 34 seconds left in the fourth.
34 seconds left in the fourth quarter. To the middle. Shot left block. He's off on that one. And Felix the other way now. They've led by as much as 10. Second team foul. Shooting for Phoenix. Barkley at the line for two. First free throw is good, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's an eight-point game, and the Pacers call time here. They're down by eight. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's trailing. Got it. Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. And now we've got the intentional foul. Check person. First personal foul. Third team foul. The line for your sons. Knight taking two shots. First free throw missing for him. We'll see if he can nail the second. And he ends up making the second, and that increases their lead to six. Timeout called the Pacers. They're trailing by six. 16 seconds left in the game. Guys, your thoughts? Look, the game's not quite done yet, but they need points right away. Can't make one mistake here. Have to act fast.
substitution on the court. Here's McLeod. Yes! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. It has been on display all night. A lack of concentration on the defensive end. It's been that way all night. Each team just trying to outscore the other. Yep, good foul to stop the clock. A couple of misses here, and they could be back in it. Two shots. the first and that gives them a four-point cushion nails from the line you can tell Johnson doesn't skip free throws at practice and so he drops them both it's a five-point game clutch free throws and that should put this game away on deep no good on the shot. So the Suns win it. They pull out a tough one, Mike. They were able to maintain the lead and get the win. And putting teams away like that at home, that's what talented teams do. And that'll wrap it up, folks. And so for Mike Fratello, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan alongside our entire 2K Sports crew thanking you for watching. We'll see you next time.